Welcome everyone. I'm Chip Downing from Real-Time Innovations. I'm here today to talk about uh, Varun, Varun Skyscraper Technology Briefing that's gonna talk about how we actually fit into this larger urban air mobility picture. So RTI is a company that's been around for over 20 years. We have over 1,500 uh, commercial design wins. We have over 600 projects. We have a very dominant uh, data distribution service product market share. Also, uh, uh, we have over $40 million in annual revenue and growing about 25 to 30% a year. Our headquarters are in Silicon Valley and we have an engineering center also in Spain. We are a company that's committed to global standards. We support quite a few standards out there that are part of both manned and unmanned systems. Uh, there's uh, data di distribution service, uh, DDS. There's future airborne capability, FACE. There's uh, ROS and ROS2. Uh, DDS is the foundation of ROS2. We also uh, uh, work with other types of capabilities like AutoSAR and unmanned control segment and uh, NATO ground vehicle architecture. So it's lots of different uh, standards we support. And by doing this, we get built into these products where we get to be deployed uh, almost automatically. We are the first to market what's called the DDS Secure Security Standard. I'll talk about that in a few more slides. We also had the first commercial off-the-shelf offering for RTCA DA, DO178C DALA certification ovens. That's the certification evidence required to do airborne systems. And then we are also the first certified conformant future airborne capability environment transport services segment. That's a face is a military avionics stack and transport services is the layer below applications that prepares the data for the applications to access. We have uh, a lot of our growth in autonomous vehicle programs. We have uh, over 50 commercial systems. Uh, over 100 defense systems, over 75 research programs, and it spans from automobiles to un undersea robots to autonomous uh, vehicles, trucks, hyperloops, and even things like uh, Bahana, Airbus Bahana, UAM. DDS is an open cross-industry standard. It, it's based upon, it's run by the object management group who also manages other standards groups like UML, SysML, XMI, Corba, and others. <clears throat> it's a three-part standard. The top part is the, the application uh, API. So essentially programmers are right to this DDS API. Uh, and you can use any language to access this, any operating system. It's independent of all those uh, different uh, environments. On the bottom side, there's a DDS RTPS protocol. That's a real-time publish subscribe protocol. That's a wire protocol that guarantees interoperability between different DDS implementations, whether it's our data distribution service or the DDS from another vendor. And then on the side, we have DDS security. It plugs in on top of a working DDS platform. So you don't have to re-architect your system if you have to change your security. You can just change the DDS plugin to put it on top of that uh, DDS foundation. Now, by design, uh, we're peer-to-peer, -peer, we're publish subscribe, we just connect endpoints. There's no server involved whatsoever. So all the latency and the issues and going through some type of server or broker don't exist with uh, DDS, it's peer-to-peer. -peer. It's loosely coupled and has a discovery mechanism where you can actually discover both publishers and subscribers. And then you make a contract between those publishers and subscribers with a given quality of service. By design, we're inherently parallel. Uh, we uh, can scale very quickly. Sometimes there's over 10 million endpoints in some of our solutions. It's uh, in a, a very, because we're loosely coupled, you can add capability and update capability on the fly. And of course, as you'll see, we have, we have standards-based security. We have four main product lines that uh, real-time innovations. The, the, the flagship product is uh, Connects DDS Professional. That's the full loaded uh, DDS product with all the development tools. We also have got uh, DDS uh, Secure. That's that layered uh, security product I just talked about that uh, goes on top of DDS implementations. We also have got a small footprint product called DDS Micro, which actually is, allows you to go on microcontrollers and smaller footprint environments, and also safety critical embedded devices. And then finally, we have Connects DDS Cert. 
That is the product that has uh, DO 170C dilate certification evidence. What we're finding is customers deploying unmanned systems and autonomous systems not only need to put DDS inside a vehicle, but also the management of that vehicle in deployment. So in, in vehicle platform, we serve as a connectivity foundation for connecting up different sensors, radars, control systems, and possibly actually uh, our artificial intelligence and machine learning environments on the platform itself. And above that, you need to communicate with other vehicles so we actually uh, work in that space also. So we can actually talk to other vehicles, just take a look at environmental weather, take a look at the vehicle location and do other types of sensing in the context of a wider vehicle deployment. And on top of that, you're gonna have to have some type of fleet management of these unmanned systems, these autonomous systems. That's where we plug in also. We essentially uh, work there for doing our uh, track control, uh, congestion management, uh, airspace management. So if you take a look at the, uh, the uh, skyscraper project, a big part of this is about how do you manage the tracks? How do you manage uh, the vehicles uh, going from one vertiport to the next and keeping them uh, out of congestion? And then finally, the, it's, all this information is gonna go up to a cloud. And, and this is a space that, this is gonna be a highest value space where you actually have uh, a lot of data up there. This is where you extract the value from all these operations and learn how to do this more efficiently and safely. So let's talk about safety and security. These are two capabilities that has come up quite a bit in the uh, skyscraper think tanks. Uh, nothing's gonna happen unless these vehicles and these systems are safe and secure. So as I mentioned before, RTI has got uh, COTS DO-178C DALA certification evidence. This is a complete evidence for our products, it's over 5,000 hyperlink files we actually create a binary for your exact deployment. So it matches that. So there's a going, getting through FAA or other type of uh, certification is quite simple because you match ex the, your exact deployment platform. So we start out with a, a PSAC and then the, which is the plan for software aspect of certification, uh, we come up with a certified binary and then wrap it all up with a software accomplishment center and SAS. So this is a nice COTS product. Uh, people will really enjoy this uh, capability because it takes the risk out of safety certification. Now, when it comes to security, it gets interesting. So uh, if some of you may be involved with uh, US Air Force AFWORKS Agility Prime program where they're looking to find uh, UAM commercial UAM vehicles and put them into service in the Air Force and other armed services. Instead of what we did 20 years ago, where we actually built a lot of unmanned vehicles ourselves, uh, they're actually looking, to, they think that the commercial operations uh, now have uh, the upper hand, and this is where they're going to be sourcing this type of capability. And they're calling these things an organic resupply bus on war. But if you take a look at uh, what Dr. Will Roper has said, he says software binds everything together. It's no longer about a hardware platform. You need software that uh, can easily be uh, updated and, and deployed. So the second bullet there is everything needs that agility so we, don't, so we don't lose connectivity. And we are that connectivity platform that's automatically uh, highly available because we're loosely coupled. So if one component goes down, the rest of the components keep on running. Uh, if you take a look, and the third bullet is really saying, look, if you take a look at commercial industry, UAM manufacturers are way ahead of anything that could be federally funded. So they're actually leading the technology and I, I think the skyscraper project is actually absolutely proving this one statement. And then finally, it says we have to figure out how to best protect the information, that data, so you can actually have multi-level security. So what's that mean? You're going to have data driving all of these capabilities from a lot of different vendors, possibly government, possibly industry, possibly large uh, data uh, uh, manufacturers. So you have to actually take a look at the data. That's what's going to be driving this whole uh, skyscraper and other type of UAM deployments. So whether Dr. Will Roper knew this or not, he's been talking about the data distribution standard. It connects DDS. We do all of these things he wants to see. He wants to have software that binds things together, connects things up. He wants to have agility. He wants to have redundancy. He wants to have the things that aren't brittle that can be updated uh, automatically through self-discovery. And just take a look at uh, the security that we'll talk about here in the next couple of slides. You'll see how this all fits together. 
So when Dr. Will Roper is talking about multi-level security, it's uh, something where you have a security domain and it may uh, come from a wide range of users. Uh, you're going to have, uh, I'll say, government and defense industry, what's called NipperNet, SipperNet, other types of uh, networks that have their own types of security uh, in their own domain. And they typically don't share between these different domains. We also have got Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine domains. Uh, on the commercial side, we now have got Google, Apple, Amazon, there's mapping services and companies like that that also uh, have their IP that need to be protected. And then you can have multinational domains like NATO, UK, US. And then finally, this is the, this is the money slide here. You're gonna have different suppliers collecting data from their operations. That's gonna have extremely high value. And they're gonna be able to share that with other UAM suppliers or operators. And that's where the, uh, the value of these UAM systems, even though it's a transportation system, we're gonna have data on how to make this all better and safer and more secure. The data drives these UAM deployments. And it's great to see that uh, the Skyscraper project is constantly put, putting this out there where you have to have these constraints and you have to have uh, ways to have these vehicles talk, the infrastructure talk, and it's gonna have a, just full of data that's gonna be do, going in real time, and essentially millisecond, possibly even microsecond at the vehicle level uh, capabilities. Let's take a look at this. This is a very simple uh, scenario. We actually have uh, two aircraft on the left. Uh, they're going to have lots of different data topics. And this is what uh, we secure with DDS. We don't secure the entire pipe. We don't secure uh, the endpoints. We are securing data in motion. So you're going to have your own endpoint security on your different uh, platforms. This is data in motion. So you can actually have different data topics being shared uh, between either uh, vehicles, but most importantly, you're going to have to have some type of a UAM operations console that can actually get the data from these different vehicles, figure out uh, what the routes are, uh, what their uh, possibly uh, status as far as mechanical uh, reliability goes. There's going to be a lot of different information that a UAM operator is going to have to take a look at. Now, this is all going to be autonomous. It might be, there might be man in the loop in the beginning, but in most cases, it's all going to be unmanned and autonomous with humans on the loop at uh, going forward as these get more complex. We also, and it's, this is a really interesting slide, we also can work with gaming engines. So we have connections into both Unity and Unreal gaming engines. So you can actually not only uh, monitor your systems in real time, but you can also predict, you can actually create a virtual environment for these, your UAM operations. So you can actually test out the deployment of a certain number of vehicles in a certain area, and it can be all through a gaming engine. So it's very unique in that respect where you can actually do that. You can also uh, put things, say, up in the cloud. You can say that some of this can come from the cloud, some of this can come from the actual field of operation. Uh, it makes no difference to DDS. We look at the data the same, no matter where it's uh, sourced and destination. We also have got tools. Now, as you can imagine, as you have, in some cases, millions of endpoints, you're going to need to have tools to figure out what's going on with your system. We have a very nice suite of tools called Admin Console. And uh, it essentially uh, takes a look at different uh, uh, points, endpoints, uh, data flowing across the wire, and be able to help you debug what's going on. So you're actually, in this one here, where you actually have an HLA simulator. That's a simulation tool used uh, by the large training companies, and uh, it's pointing out the uh, values that you're seeing in the, the yellow boxes. So I mentioned before, we have this layered security product. It's called DDS Secure. It's based upon a standard, so it's not a proprietary uh, product whatsoever. It has built-in plugins uh, mm -hmm. for authentication, access control, cryptography, logging, data tagging, and more. It can run over any type of transport. So it can be TCP, UDP, serial fibers, ser shared memory, uh, no restrictions as far as that goes. As I mentioned before, it's completely decentralized. There's no server, no broker, no single points of failure. And of course, you can also have your own security strategies and that can be customized to layer on top of DDS. So the bottom line is that we have an opportunity to create a foundation, a connectivity foundation for a UAM innovation. We actually have partners. We've got six 
microprocessor partners that we support for safety critical and operations. We support over eight uh, safety RTOSs. So you're gonna put that on top of these microprocessors. You put DDS on top of that. And then you now just got a, a common API for all of your application developers, no matter what language you're using or what type of system they're developing on that just writes to this API. And you can now move this around the system. So the best part is this created a market for DO178C and DO254 certification of it. So now you have a ready market that can be served and get into certification very quickly. So this is the true value that uh, DDS provides and RTI provides is to actually bring this type of capabilities. So you don't try to sidestep safety, you actually install safety, you build upon safety upfront using COTS components. There are a fraction of the cost if you try to certify this yourself and just focus on your UAM innovation. So I appreciate your time today. Feel free to uh, connect with uh, Real-Time Innovations at any time. My name's Chip Downing. You can send me an email at chip at rti.com or give me a telephone call. You can also uh, download for free Connects uh, DDS uh, for 30 days and uh, uh, try it out for yourself and see how you can best use DDS in your next UAM implementation. Thank you.